Hi, I'm Amanda Langley. Welcome to Track. Today I'm going to show you two techniques that you can put together, rubbing and wax resist. Here come the supplies. Paper, any kind will do. I am unnecessarily using watercolor paper. You can use anything with texture and I mean anything at all. You don't have to use an extremely large leaf like I am. I'm using crayons and this is not sponsored so I'll just go ahead and cover that up. With the crayons, you're going to need to use light colors. This of course will work with any of the darker ones, but it's kind of like a cool magic trick when you use the lighter ones. I flipped over my leaf because that's the side with the ridges and the texture is what we're looking for. So when you use these light colors, you can barely see anything. The point where the students are gonna be like, what are we doing? But then when you put the watercolor on top of it, this is where the wax resist comes into play. I did not press down very hard, so you can kind of see how the students will do it. But if you do press down harder, it'll show up even better. The more wax, the better. On this second one, I used a different kind of texture, and you can go ahead and try to guess what kind of texture I used. I highly doubt you're going to guess it, but you can try. If you've ever used this technique before or you're inspired to do so, make sure and show us some pictures. I'll see you next time.